much did you need that celebration out of there? We needed it big time. I mean, a lot of adversity throughout the last couple of weeks and the whole week, this whole week, we said we were starting over and we're saying the rest of the games we're playing for Ty Lee. And when we put it together, offense and defense and special teams, this is the ball club we expect to, expect to be like, plus more. It seemed like when good things happen, you guys gained steam from it and continue to add to it as the game went on. Did you sense that you guys were doing that as it was happening? Yes, sir. Just layering stuff? Yes, sir, 100%, 100% our defense. I mean, we came out there, offense did their thing, and then the defense rallied behind us, and you see, you saw what happened. And they came up to me, they were like, just just play ball, just play the ball, you know how to play, and we, we got you. And so that was in my mindset, like that was in the back of my head. And plus, I wore a wristband with cross on my wrist and then 13, and I'd look down, anytime I got hit, I'd look down, and I'd be like, I'm getting back up for you. And that's just something that just means Tali means a lot for this team, and he can do a lot for us as we continue to move forward and we continue to play the ball he would want us to play. You were holding your ribs one of those times for a little bit. Was that one of those moments where you were holding your ribs a little bit? 100 percent. And everyone has their own battles, and mine just happens to be my ribs. And I'm just going to continue to fight through that. And my old line did a wonderful job, zero sacks for today. And I just told them, we play like this, who can stop us? See what cool. like the completion did, JJ. At the end of the half, was it just a big one for you guys? Did it go into halftime 24-6? Yes, sir, that was a big one. I Last couple of weeks, I missed a couple of deep balls that I wish I could have back, and I told JJ, as we're moving forward, I was like, I'm giving you a chance. He was like, just, just throw it up. I'm going to go get it. And I've been with him since he first stepped into college. We've had this connection, and it just displayed today. Put it all on display today. What in the world got into him on the run after the catch? They look like Jamar Chase. I mean, that's I haven't seen that sort of burst and slick, you know, moves from JJ ever. Maybe like I mean, honestly, I'm out there. I throw him the ball, and I get turned around, and all of a sudden I hear our our fans screaming. I'm yeah. like, oh, he's going, he's going. And so I wouldn't say it surprised us. JJ, he's an excellent player. He's a motor guy, and when he had his chance, he took it to the house. You talk about the first one, the little yes, sir, the little. Jailbreak screen, yeah. Yes, sir. So, from your point of view, how would you critique Jamari Ritzy's run? It looked kind of like a tight end. He got his hands on the ball. <laughs> Coach Brown kind of made a joke because JJ typically sometimes he kind of looks like he's running a little slow. He goes, I look out there, I see Ritzy get a pick. He was like, for a second, I thought it was JJ. Yep. <laughs> and we all just got a good laugh at it. But, I mean, heck of a play by him, man. I mean, that, that really had us had us going moving forward in the second half. I mean, we wanted to play fast first first two quarters and come out swinging like we did today, and he he did his thing. Did you he made the big moves to uh, uh, he, he did well with his moves. We can teach did him a little bit more. Did you see Calandria came over and he, he switched hands I don't from know. the ball? He didn't quite get him, but he was ready to get him. Yeah, he, he, he was hiding him for sure. Hiding he him for sure. Ball skills. Yes, sir. Jacoby, did you feel the offense was maybe starting to figure itself out the last few games? I know they didn't materialize in wins, but did you feel that it was like on the cusp of, you know, potentially doing something similar to what you guys did? Yes, sir, 100%. And as a player, when things aren't going good, I point, I point fingers at myself. And the last few weeks when I don't create a turnover, we do pretty well. And for me, it's making sure the ball, making sure we're moving the chains each possession that we get. And that's just something we really did from an offensive stand, standpoint today. And then from your perspective too, this week in practice, I know you guys had that bye week already. Did you feel anything was kind of different this week from your perspective as far as the energy or anything like that? I felt like we had a sense of urgency, you know. I mean, we have five games left, and we want to finish. We want to finish the way we said we were going to finish out the season, and that was make sure we come to every game 100% prepared and 100% high motor. And when we look at the, when we look back at the game, we don't want to blame ourselves. And so I felt like the guys they really stood to what they said as the week kept going, and things happened the way they were meant to happen today. Jacoby, I know you don't play defense, but just the effect of a fully healthy Cayman Rucker for your guys as a team and a defense. I mean, what does he mean when he is turning it loose like he was today, just for the overall group out there for those guys? Yes, sir. You have a voice out there whenever he's 100% healthy and out there playing. And a voice on each side of the ball is, is what, what you need. And when things aren't going bad, you can hear his voice from all the way across. And that's just the type of guy he is. That's the type of player that we need for our football team. And when he's healthy, you get you get a little bit of it all. 
you get a guy that's going to perform out there on the field and then on the sideline, you're going to, you mess up, he's, he's going to say something. And that's just what we needed today, and he, he did exactly that. So you're saying, yeah, if you've got the iPad or whatever over there in between series, you can, you can even be looking down and hear, you know whose voice it is? 100%. 100%. It looks like you're getting more Finish comfortable rolling and throwing. Mm-hmm. And I, it almost seemed like you kind of went through that evolution some today during the course of the game. What is your comfort level when you're rolling out and you're able to see the field and make some of the throws now? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. That's just, like I said weeks ago, I got to go back to the ball player I am. And beginning of the weeks, I would say I was more of a trying to throw the ball a lot more. And I used my feet on both today. I used my feet while rolling out the pocket. I ran and I passed the ball. And that's just something I have to bring to the team. And I'd say I'm super comfortable with it, just having my eyes downfield. And then if everyone's covered, just take off. And I displayed that today, and it worked out for us. I think there was one play you found Colliver over mm-hmm. the middle, and he did a nice job, I guess, getting free. But you saw him. Did you always see the receivers when you were rolling before? Are you seeing them more clearly now? It appears that a play like that would be an example where maybe you're just getting a lot more comfortable and seeing more clearly. Yes, sir, 100%. The game has slowed down tremendously for me. And today, Actually, when I threw him the ball, I had my eyes looking right at Kobe Paysauer, I believe who it was, because they had a nickel defender, and so I had to use my eyes so he can jump out there and create a lane for Chris Culliver. And I feel like the game's slowing down and everything's just coming back to me the way, it, way I once played. All right. Thanks, Kobe. Yes, sir. Thank you all. You felt today maybe more like the real Cameron Rucker than you, <laughs> maybe last week, well, two weeks ago. Yeah. You feel like you're back there. 100%. Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, <clears throat> you know, just uh, coming off the knee injury, you know, just, of course, just like I feel like, you know, obviously when you get the surgery, you know, there's going to be some things that, you know, mentally that you need to get over more so than a physical standpoint because, you know, the surgery happened, it's healed, when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. And um, so for me, it was a mental hump to get over because I've had some knee procedures in the past. But um, for me, it's just like once I, once I got over it, knowing that it's healed, it's been fixed, you know, prayed over it, all these things, man. It's just now I got to just do my job and just be me, you know. How about 10 sacks for the team? The defense today. Hey, that's, that just shows you hard how great our defense is. You know, obviously for the past few weeks has been a drought, you know, just um, dealing with all the things that we dealt with. But, man, this was um, – I think this was a turning point for our team, our defense, because we're capable of doing what we did today every single game for 60 minutes, first through the fourth quarter. And, um, you know, I feel like this was a great um, win coming off the bye week. I think everybody had that mentality of knowing that like, once we get off this bye week, we got to turn this thing around, having the potential to win out and things of that nature. So I firmly believe that. And just us having this 10 sacks today just shows you how dominant this defense and this D-line can be. Can you, you feel like had, <clears throat> you've had two dominant defensive performances as a team? against the FBS teams, the opener, and today, a common thread is you were on the field and healthy. How much do you sense that you elevate the play of the defense across the board because of your presence out there and the variety of things you can do? I mean, if you want me to be honest, I just feed off the other guys as much as, I mean, I guess they would feed off of me. You know, it's just like, for me, I'm just always like, <clears throat> one of those guys are just like, you know, I don't really want to look at the scoreboard. I choose not to look at the scoreboard. I'm just ready for, the next play, and then the next play after that, next play after that. And so it was just like the guys today, they, they brought all the energy in the world. And, you know, I was just bringing, I was just along with it, and I was just along for the ride. And, um, you know, just I, uh, if that's the case, like for me being out there, if that controls the energy, I mean, like I, I can't take all the credit, man. It ain't all just me. It's also from the defensive standpoint, offensive guys, just everybody individually in their positions, just bringing the juice that they can, man. And today, man, we just, we played how we practice. We practice with a lot of fun. We practice with a lot of energy. We practice with very, like, very good poise, patience, um, aggressiveness. And today showed that because we played how we practice. And I think we put a lot of great stuff on film. Of course, there's some stuff to work on. But I think we put a lot of great stuff on film. And I think the energy was contagious to Elm on the sideline today. Stay, stay on that for you individually. You took a detour to get back on track here. How rewarding is it for you to go out there healthy, not thinking about about the injury or like that, and playing the way that you played. How much fun was it? How rewarding was it? It was. I have so much fun, man. This was um, this was just as much fun as I had playing high school ball and stuff like that. Where it's just like you know, like I know Coach he, Coach Collins said, like he was watching high school film 
for a couple of days just to just to show like how aggressive we can be when we just fly and not thinking, not being confused, and just going out there and dominating. And that's what happened today for not only myself but for everybody. But it's very rewarding, you know, because <clears throat> with me being out for a while, you know, it's just like you got all these pass rushers that's up for lists, pressures, sacks, and things of that nature, and you know. My name's not up there. And I mean, like, I would be lying to you if I said I haven't seen those. So for me to be back today, have a performance that I had today, I couldn't have done it without my guys, my interior guys, my exterior guys, and, of course, everybody else on defense. But this is just a this is just a reminder that the butcher's back. So You don't always see a defensive lineman pick off a pass. You rarely see one run 84 yards for a touchdown. Just your thoughts. <laughs> that just shows how versatile we are, man. Um, it was kind of crazy. I know in, uh, we had a Wednesday practice. We were going through our stuff, and there was a uh, there was like a floater that came across the middle of the field, secured the ball, and I literally did one of those things where you should you shouldn't do is try to run before you catch it, and that's exactly what I did. And I pulled it and I hit it on my knee and I dropped it. Everybody gave me a hard time, and I was like, listen, once I catch this thing on Saturday, all y'all finna be celebrating with me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then with Javari, man, he. That just shows you how athletic he is. <clears throat> just like, you know, him just taking it to the crib, man. That was um, – he wanted that bad. And I'm, I words can't explain how proud I am of him because for both of us, man, just um, dealing with injuries, personal hardships, personal personal stuff behind the scenes that a lot of people get to see. And um, we we feed off of each other for that. We look for support in each other for that. So both of us having the game that we did, both of us having the picks that we did, the moments that we did, man, that was, um, I'm proud of both of us and I'm exceptionally proud for him. Like words can't explain how I am, how proud I am. That's like my brother. So that's all love for him and I'm proud of him. Ooh, what, man? That's, y'all seen this? Okay. Maybe it was a stiff arm. Hey, I, didn't, I didn't see the arm. That's a that's a see, I, that's that's a whole stiff. That's just that was Kyle Andrews. Yeah, yeah. It literally looked like that's some old Heisman. man. That's the I'm about to say, and mode. that's what I'm trying. To say. I'm telling you, he needs better ball security. Then. I'm about to say, Clint okay. ain't no slow guy neither. So Max said he looked up, he saw five. He said, "That's not JJ, is it?" Nah, that's Javari Ritzy, man. There's more than one five out here. Can you, can you uh, kind of talk about the scene in that locker room when you? in there obviously we heard the uh, music blaring you know from the air just could you explain just what you know that scene was like by the window um it felt great man you know just like like I said we had this little bit of a drought lately but you know I feel like this was a great win for all of us just to take that to get that pressure off of us to get pressure off our backs you know and because it's not easy taking as many losses in the road as we did but for us to remove that to be like, all right, this is our first win going forward. This is how we're going to move forward with this. Of course, there's some corrections. We can live with this. We can have fun with this win, but we also know that we still have an opponent ahead of us. So just having fun, understanding. I think we're all on the same page with that as well. Just knowing, like, let's have fun with this today. Let's be glad. Let's be thankful. But knowing that by Sunday, at the end of Sunday, we got in another opponent in FSU, and I know they're going to bring us their best, and we're going to bring our best. So we got to understand, like, we got a next opponent up, and we got to focus on them after this win. So, but we're happy though. We are happy though. It felt like the South <coughs> Carolina last one. It, it felt like the South Carolina game. The way those sacks started piling up from from last year. Is there? Do you have any sense of why you all will have these just games where ten sacks, nine sacks, just a mountain of sacks? Yeah. Like where do they? Do you have any sense of where these come from when they do come? Uh. Nah, it's just, you know, having trust in Coach Collins in the play in the game plan and this game plan didn't involve us doing a lot of shifts, a lot of motions, a lot of exotic stuff. It was just base calls and just going out and doing what we do best and that's to cause problems for any other offense. And so I feel like us just doing that, showing that when we do that consistently throughout a game, can't nobody stop us up front and that can't nobody stop our defense, period. So All right. Thanks, I did, yeah. You're still so, right yeah. before it looked like Clay. Yeah, I, sw- I switched hands. Yeah, I had it in my right hand. Yeah. <laughs> All secure. Yep. Justin Jefferson himself. <laughs> so, why don't you describe that play just from start to finish? Uh, nothing but God, for real. I just saw the ball in the air. I just said, I got gloves on. Let me make something happen. Like, today was the first time I played with gloves in like a while. So, I was just like, I don't know. Let's, let's try it out. And then, it's just so happened. 
got the ball in my hands. I just said, let's let's take off. So I just took off and all I saw was the end zone. I didn't see anything else but the end zone. I see the quarterback coming out of nowhere. And I stiff arm, cool. And I just kept going after that. Thank you to AC though. AC made that big hit. That's how I got touchdowns because AC. So I'm gonna give it to AC. What kind of miles per hour do you think you hit on that one? I was probably running slow. My legs were kind of hurting today. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I was maybe 13. I don't know. I'm just, we'll have to I'm check just, it. Yeah, we'll check it later. Yeah. Did you do anything like that in high school? I did. I played quarterback in high school, and I ran track with my mom. So I've actually been running track since I was five years old. So I've always been able to run at least. I've just put on a lot of weight, so it may look a little bit slower now. But I've, I've always been in the running. I ran with couple different teams, Roadrunners, Tri-City Relays, PAC, all growing up. So I've been in the track all my life. Why with gloves today? Uh, honestly, that's a good question. I, I was just thinking, because you usually I do the tip around my fingers. And I was like, some just told me to put gloves on. Because I wore gloves in practice this week, and they were working out for me. And I was like, today, let me just put some gloves on. I put the DB gloves on. I said, these kind of feel nice. And I just <laughs> put them on, and I was like, let's do it. Yes. When was the last time he ran 84 yards for a touchdown? When I played quarterback my freshman year of high school, I ran like, I was like 60. Took off, uh, dropped, dropped back, and I just took off. But did you switch hands and stiff arm anybody on that run? I just middle? ran straight up the middle. <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember. You said Amari made a hit. What, what hit was that? He the, made the block. The block. Yeah, the block. The mm -hmm. yeah he yeah. made that block. I so, wasn't sure if that was him. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. <clears throat> Ten sacks today for the defense. Just what does it say about the defense? Um, Not just today, but maybe looking forward to it. Just say growth. You know what I'm saying? Different mindset now, different part of the season. We've had a lot of adversity hit us, and I think us just being together as just a whole team. Like, I thought we played together as a team. That, like, right there, just, you know what I'm saying? I, I love that right there. And just the 10 sacks, I mean, that's just showing that defense is stepping up in, in different areas back in linebackers front like we've all we've all got sacks around the board db's got a sack elijah huzzy amari got a sack dez Rutt, we all got you know what i'm saying so i just think that's just a overall just a great defense right there that's how you that's how you play great defense we just got to hold that to a standard every game javari along those lines what is the feeling like when those sacks are just starting to come and pile up uh, i mean i saw the spider-man meme there <laughs> at one point i think if my internet knowledge is, is correct. <laughs> but like, I mean, what is the feeling? Like, it's almost like a snowball, I feel yeah. like, and they just keep coming. Uh, for us, it's just more so like, a sack for us is like everything. Cause I mean, big men making big plays like that, that's what you want to see. And it just hypes us up. Cause it's like, okay, we get back, we get back there. That's how we know the DB's doing their job, linebackers doing their job. For us, it's like everybody's just doing their job, and that's how that happened. You know what I'm saying? We getting back there making the play, but overall, the whole defense made the play. Because what, without the defense, you know what I'm saying, stopping him in the back end, he probably could have threw the ball to somebody that was open. They had him covered. He was able to get the sack. So it was just, you know, the right timing for us. Jabari, some of the other guys were in here talking about how as, you know, the losses kind of mount, the pressure you know, somewhat mounts as well. I guess for yourself personally going into this week, did you feel anything, you know, kind of added, like an added sense of urgency? I know you want to win every game, obviously, mm -hmm. but was there like an added sense of urgency with this UVA game compared to, I guess, I feel like for us, we just had a different mindset coming in this week. Um, for me, I felt like we had a great week of practice. Even in the bye week, we had a great week of practice. Um, we just had to just switch it up, do something different, and just come in different. We brought the juice. I mean, even this morning, like, just uh, me and Travis, we had been a team up at 7 o'clock in the morning before we had to eat. Like, we doing stuff, small stuff like that. I feel like the little things done right is was able to make us, you know what I'm saying, be at a high level in all areas. Y'all, you know, I guess, did that. Was there, like, an extra meeting early in the morning or just, like, what was it was time? It was just juice. Like, we, I mean, you know what I'm saying, like, me, the strength staff, Travis, we brought the juice. I mean, they in there playing NBA Young Boy this morning loud in the hotel about to go eat. Like, I thought just bringing that extra juice, like, small stuff, like, that's what helped us, you know what I'm saying, because, I mean, just us being together, I felt like was the best part about today was being together. And so I saw that across the board, offense, defense, special teams, coaches, everybody was together, so. Max said that he thought that the last few weeks, which you guys have been through, kind of helped you guys get some perspective. Mm -hmm. 
and perhaps that perspective may have minimized some of the stress about having to win in football. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you guys were more stress-free coming into this, and because of that, you kind of were able to play looser and galvanize once good things happen? I feel like just all the adversity that has happened from, I mean, we all know all the stuff that's been going on, you know what I'm saying, in, in the house and stuff like that. And I felt like us just, you know what I'm saying, taking that to heart, you know what I'm saying, is, is meaning more. And I think everyone's waking up every single day realizing that this means more than just, you know what I'm saying, just anything else. Like, we got to get up and keep going. You know what I'm saying? We can't just let, you know what I'm saying, small stuff hold us back. I mean, keep swinging. The motto, Ty Lee, I mean, we got to keep doing that. And so shout out to him, uh, along with him. Uh, I feel like his motto, his legacy has allowed us to realize that we got to just keep going, keep swinging. How powerful can that feel be wearing that shirt and mm -hmm. keeping Ty Lee, especially now that he's no longer with you? Mm -hmm. Is there even more power behind that? Oh, definitely more power. I mean, just even when he even when he was here, I'm saying him being an inspiration to us every single day, us, you know what I'm saying, recognizing that he's able to keep going. I mean, we kept we keep going with him, you know what I'm saying, we had his back. And uh, him being an inspiration to us, even an inspiration to me, like I'm seeing that every day. I'm like, wow, like he he can do it, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So now I just got a different mindset, like anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? Tyler was able to do it, I'm able to do it. So I just got to keep that going too. I mean, I wear this shirt. But probably, like, he, he kept going. So, yeah. All right. Javari, I'm going to get JJ in here. Uh, it, was, it was a good day for the Fives. I think, honestly, I saw him holding the ball out like this. I was, like, I was worried about his ball security, but he scored. So, it is what it is. He changed hands. Yeah, it looked good. It looked good. I mean, he's Javari is a natural athlete. So, that's, that's something that he can do. JJ, take us through the catch at the end of the first half where – you not only have the guy committing pass interference against you, but you're having a tightrope, the corner of the end zone, turn around, the concentration. Just take us through that because it's a hell of a play, and you obviously are able to take a big lead into halftime. Honestly, it was just trying to go out there and make a play for my team. <clears throat> I know that in the beginning part of this season that uh, I've let my team down sometimes whenever the ball's come my way, so just trying to make a play any way I can uh, during this last stretch of the year. Just uh, trying to show people that you know I am a pretty good player, and, uh, you know, I see the things that they say on social media, so it just was extra motivation for me to go out there and play uh, pretty hard today. What are they saying on social media? Uh, can't say that on the camera, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah what, you, what you probably think, but it is what it is. How, how relieving is it to go in the locker room and the music's blurring and there's happy faces and you guys are sort of starting to move forward from all the difficult things that you've gone through? I think it's good, but at the same time, for me personally, I think this is still business. Like, I don't want people getting too excited that we won a game. I mean, yes, it's great that we're back on track, but we still got four or five games left to continue to play and continue to win. So uh, I, I love the 24-hour rule that Coach Brown says, you know, we'll enjoy this win for today, but, you know, tomorrow let's get to work and get ready for Florida State. What does – I know you play offense, but when Cayman is fully healthy, um, and, and able to turn it loose. Like, what do you think he adds, brings, unlocks for this defense? Because I mean, you can, you know, we can see it. What, what, what is he? What is he? Doing? No, he's definitely a natural leader. Uh, just talking, but also the way he plays and the way he carries himself. I think you know, watching the defense today. I mean, I go against them every day in practice, so I've seen how good they can be. And today was one of those days where it was like, okay, this is the defense. This is the standard that we have. And so it was good for them to go out there and play and execute all the things that they needed to needed to do today, so they can tell you know everybody else in the country that they're still a good defense. I know you just take us through the vibe of the team um, this week and what you guys really wanted to accomplish out of the game today. I think just trying to get the first dub under the belt for this last stretch of games, and uh, you know the biggest thing that I told my position group and the skill guys is this week play for something bigger than yourself. I mean, you know, for me, the rest of the season for me is for Ty Lee, and uh, he's. And it was a big factor in what I did today. And, you know, our chaplain, Mitch Mason, wasn't here today. So he's also a big motivation for the guys. But playing for something bigger than yourself was uh, the main goal this week. And then also just finishing, you know, we I know we were up in the fourth quarter, but I told the guys, you know, we it's college football. Anything can happen. So we continue to put the foot on their throat and just come out with the W. I think you guys want to be entirely strong. And part of that is keep swinging. Mm -hmm. Is that Kind of the motto for the rest of the yeah, season. Yeah, definitely, keep definitely just game. keep swinging every game. Just keep swinging, keep swinging uh, until we get to the end of the season. So, have you seen? I don't know if anyone's you know, told you at this point, you did end up getting a career high in receiving yards. Uh, just kind of initial initial thoughts when you hear that, and just, you know, I guess the, the meaning it has to 
I mean, I, I mean, that's pretty cool, but I feel like there was still a lot of stuff I could have done out there today to, you know, help my team out even more and make even more plays. But, I mean, that's still a great accomplishment for me, which I'm proud of. But, you know, I'm just more excited that we got that first W. So. Did you feel that was probably the most yards after catch you may have had, you know, kind of in a while? Like? Oh, yeah, that's probably – I haven't. I don't think I've taken a screen to the house since high school. So <laughs> that definitely just – you know, it was it, it. It looked a little slow. I already heard from a lot of guys, but at the same time, you know, a touchdown's a touchdown. JJ, it didn't look slow. I mean, like I, some of us, some of us rode into these laptops. Like, I mean, that acceleration. I don't think we've seen that from you. Yeah, I think just today, I just played freely, and you know, just like I said, I've, I've had I have extra motivation for the rest of the year, and uh, just you know, trying to make plays. I, I know that. Especially for this offense, we have a lot of playmakers, and I just want to help out any way I can. Can you landmark the improvement that Jacoby's making? Be able to read stuff when he rolls. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's a lot more comfortable. He's seen a lot more stuff now. It seemed like today he kind of took it to another level for himself. Yeah, definitely. Just him coming out the pocket and still keeping his eyes down the field is something that he's really worked on. And I feel like the biggest thing for him is just adjusting the O line to how the defense is blitzing. I know I don't know too much about it, but when I see it and I see that he does it and it works perfectly, those weren't that wasn't something that he was doing in the summer or when he first got here. So for him to continue to work on that, and he's just he's going to continue to get better as the season goes on. So I'm excited to see uh, how he does this week and for the rest of the year. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.